Hello, my name is Paolo Vandalo and I will show you how the stepper works. When you start the plugin, you can choose your instrument and press start. In stepper, instruments and tracks belong together. So every instrument belongs to one track. This row is the instrument row. When you press the instruments, you change the instrument focus as you can see here, and instantly you change the track focus. Up here, you have buttons to paginate through the instruments. The first three instruments have different color than the next three instruments. This is because the tracks belonging to the instruments are grouped together in a group called drum, and the next are grouped together in a group called bass. Below the instrument row is an area which is the keyboard area. It has the white keys, the black keys, the stop note and the octave mode, uh, switch. Right next to the keyboard area is a play and a record button. As you can see, when I hit play, you see a glider up here. This glider represents the pattern. When I'm pressing a key here, you can see the last key I'm pressing is blinking. When I'm entering notes in here by pressing the buttons, I will always enter the last note I was pressing, which is currently focused. By pressing the buttons again, I remove the pattern. Let's enter a simple pattern. There's a very simple pattern. With these buttons, you can zoom in and zoom out. When you zoomed in, you get a pagination of the pattern up here. This way, you can enter patterns as you like. Switching to the bass, you can record what you're doing, like with a normal keyboard. Forget to remove the keyboard uh, record key. Right next to the instrument row, you have this button. When it is red, you can mute tracks and instruments. When it gets too loud, you can mute it. Well, basically, that's the first you have to know about Stepper. Thank you, and see you next time.